Hello everyone, Amud here from your target common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation of today's Sassword end-to-end framework playlist video series. So in the previous video, we learned a test design pattern to handle multiple scenarios of an API. So on that video, I got a comment from Ravi. He is saying that how can we implement whether to run a test or not, something like test enabled as yes or no. So if you see the Excel sheet, from where I am reading the scenarios, here I have five scenarios. Suppose if I don't want to run third test or first test, so I should have some way so that I can filter it out what I need to execute. Or suppose if you tag some scenarios as a smoke or some as sanity, then also you should be able to filter it out. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one new column and that column name I can give back enabled. And I need to pass yes if I want to run the test case, no if, if I don't want to run the test case. So after the scenario description, I will add the column. So what this field will do, if I am passing any scenario with the enabled as no, then I should not execute this. But actually we need to have some logic which will go and filter all the test cases or scenarios which are tagged or marked enabled as no, if you see the existing code in the data provider method, I am reading the data as list of map from Excel. So it is good for me to filter the data when I am reading the data from Excel itself instead of reading and then eliminating the disabled test cases. So what I'm going to do, I will go to this method and here after getting the data from Excel where, where it will be like list of map. I will use the stream concept to filter the disabled test cases. With the stream filter, it will be really short code. But if you want to go for longer way, where you need to iterate the list, then you need to go to map, then fetch the enable value, then based on what value you have, you need to remove it from the list. But that will be like lengthy process. So I am going to show you the same code using the Java stream. So data from Excel and I will call the stream method and here we have one method called filter. So obviously it will give me a key value pair. I will have a variable like key value pair, any name you can give here. And from this key value pair, I want to get the value of field called enabled. So key value pair dot get. Let me copy the column name. So I am expecting that the value of enabled should be y. So equals ignore case and I will pass y. And after filtering it out, I am going to simply collect it as list and I am going to store the collection, filtered collection in the same variable again because same variable I am returning. So here till here I will have all those rows. And from that, I am going to filter where the enabled field has the value as y. And it will return me that all the scenarios which I want to run. So let me run the test case. I will use the airline test scenario dot Java. So you can see build it successful. Let me open the report. So here you can see that it is running only four scenarios now because we have one scenario with enabled as no. So here you can see that empty payload scenario. I has put the enabled as no. So that's why you cannot see that test case in my report. So this is the way you can handle which test case you want to run and which you don't want to run. You can filter on any condition, maybe on smoke test, regression test, sanity test, whatever you want to do, you can do it. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.